Hello everybody, I'm Gary. Welcome back to FYPC, uh, my channel about my prostate cancer experience. Uh, and I really hope that by telling this story, it's going to demystify the disease a little bit if you're suffering from it. Um, maybe help you if you're caring for somebody who's got prostate cancer uh, as well. Um, someone emailed me the other day and said, so what's this all about? FYPC, what does that stand for? I, you know, He said, I think I can get the PC bit. Um, and I said to him, well, it depends who I'm talking to. So on this video, talking to you guys about my story, this is fuck you prostate cancer. Okay, that's where it came from. Um, and that's just reflecting my attitude to the disease, my desire to just want to, um, you know, fight back and make sure that I keep myself in the right sort of physical shape and right sort of mindset to, to make the best of it. Um, if I was on the BBC, then it might be something like, I don't know, um, fearless years with prostate cancer. So it depends uh, who I'm talking to. But for me personally, it is fuck you prostate cancer. Uh, which is a good start to a video, come to think of it. Um, so this video is all about that moment in the urologist's office when she says to me, you've got cancer, Gary. Uh, and she gave me a Gleason score. So what is a Gleason score? What does it mean? Uh, let's uh, let's take a look into that. All right, so we're in the urologist's office. I've kind of imagined that this was the kind of conversation we would get to eventually. Um, and before I tell you what she said, let me just give you a couple of tips that uh, someone passed on to me that were super useful. Um, the first one is to take your phone in, ask permission, do you mind if I record this conversation, um, and then set that running uh, so that you've got a record of what's being said. Because the minute they say, uh, we've got the biopsy results and it is cancer, then if you're anything like me, your mind will have just gone, boom, I'm thinking about now, the kids, the future, the family, the house, the everything. Um, and so you'll get a little bit disjointed and having that recording is, is really useful. Um, the second tip that I got was to take some prepared questions in. So, you know, again, if you're like me, you might have done a bit of research on the internet and found a few things that were kind of a bit, a bit confusing and you want to talk them through with the urologist. You know, what kind of um, treatment options have I got? What kind of uh, side effects might that have? How long will it last? Da, da, da. Just whatever those questions are, get them down onto paper and take them in there with you. So then she says to me, Gary, we've uh, got the biopsy results back and I'm very sorry to tell you that it is cancer. You have got cancer in the prostate uh, and you've got a Gleason score of seven. So what is this Gleason score? Um, Gleason was an American pathologist who came up with this scoring chart and um, I'll put a chart on the screen in a second where you can see that for all intents and purposes, if you've got prostate cancer, you're gonna get a Gleason score made up of two numbers. Okay, first number is the most prevalent form of cancer that they found in the samples that they took out during the biopsy. And the second number is the highest grade of the rest of the samples. So in my case, Gleason score three uh, plus four equals seven. So that was my seven. But as you can see, if you take three, four and five uh, and, and you do that twice, you get nine possible outcomes here. So your score could be between six and 10. And clearly those numbers, the higher that number is, the more aggressive the cancer is and uh, the more urgent the treatment will be and the treatment options will probably be different. Uh, you can also see in the left-hand column a uh, grading group. This is something that was done by the Cambridge Prognostic Group and it's made up of more than just the Gleason score. It could have things like your PSA levels in it and things like that. But broadly speaking, you'll see the definitions like this. So I'm in grade group two. Um, so with a grade group two, Gleason score of seven, they're talking about an intermediate level uh, of risk. That's the Gleason score. When you get yours, talk through with the doctor very carefully about what it is that it means both right now and for the treatment and for the future. Uh, the other thing that the doctor went on to talk about was the difference between um, localised prostate cancer, locally advanced prostate cancer and advanced prostate cancer. Um, that's just really all around whether or not the prostate, uh, the cancer is still inside the prostate, so it's localized. Um, and if it's locally advanced, it may have broken out of the capsule of the prostate and maybe spreading to other parts uh, very close by. 
If it's advanced prostate cancer, then it's already broken out of the prostate and it's somewhere else uh, in the body. And clearly that's going to affect your, your treatment options uh, as well. So in a nutshell, that's the Gleason score. Um, Google it, look at some of the options, go to the Prostate Cancer UK website, which will give you a really good breakdown uh, of this, but that's the basics of it. You're gonna get a score that indicates uh, how aggressive the cancer is, and that'll dictate some of the treatment options. Um, so I hope that was useful. Uh, just a couple of tips there about taking the, the, the notes, the questions, and the voice recorder. I really do think that uh, helped me a lot, so. Uh, use that if you can and uh, I look forward to coming back and we'll talk next time about the kind of treatment options that I was offered and uh, how we get onto the the treatment path. Um, if this is useful for you uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with people who are in the target groups, you know any man over 50 needs to know this stuff, anybody who's got prostate cancer or is caring for someone with prostate cancer I think uh, I hope this could be really useful for them so share it around and uh, let's get the word out there and I'll see you next time.